In this video, I'm going to go over the six reasons why you haven't received your stimulus paycheck yet, as well as some other updates on April 17th. My name is David. These are my two daughters. Uh, my wife is a nurse. She's working a 24 hour shift. So sorry for the distractions. Let's get right into the video. I could totally relate with this being stressful waiting for a stimulus check. The IRS claims that 80 million checks went out this past week. But I'm not so sure that's the case. So this guy here, he received a stimulus check for $8.2 million. Obviously, that was a mistake. And there's been reports of numerous dead people receiving their stimulus checks. So with all these mistakes, it's really messed up that millions of living Americans who are in dire need of their checks still haven't received them yet. So let me go over these six reasons why you may not have received it yet. One of the main reasons why you haven't received your check yet is if you do not regularly file a tax return. So the way this works is if you file a tax return, the IRS will have your physical address or your direct deposit. If they don't have that information, there's nowhere for the IRS to send the check. And if you fall into this category, that's one of the reasons why the IRS created a portal to set up your direct deposit and they set up two portals which were not successful at all. I'll get into that more later. The portal for non-tax filers was launched last week and if you did not file a tax return in 2018 or 2019 and your income was below 12200 or 24400 for a married couple, then you would use that portal. I'll link to that down in the description below and that's where you would set up your direct deposit information so that the IRS has your info and could send you that check as soon as possible. Next reason is if you filed a paper tax return in 2019. So if the IRS doesn't have your direct deposit information from let's say your 2018 tax return and you filed it through paper, which a lot of people still do uh, in 2019, then this will delay the process to <laughs> then this will delay the process to get a direct deposit. So far the portals, either one of them, aren't being helpful with this particular situation and you would have to wait for a paper check. Ideally, the new portal, the Get My Payment portal, would be a way to set up your direct deposit. You just type in your new bank information, but that portal is a complete mess and it's not working for anybody. Uh, let me know if you've had any luck down in the comments below, but so far it's been a mess, including for me. The next reason is that your tax refund went to an old bank account. So if you filed your taxes in 2018 and you haven't yet filed in 2019, but that 2018 tax filing went to an old bank account that has been closed. So there's been some report that the IRS sent the stimulus check to that old bank account and the bank would just send it back to the IRS. Now, ideally, one of the ways to fix this would be the get my payment tool. But as I mentioned before, it's a complete mess and it's not helping anybody. One of the ways to fix this issue is to file a 2019 tax return. This way, the IRS has your updated information. So tax uh, deadline was moved from April 15th all the way to July 15th. So if you weren't planning on filing a tax return, now may be a good time. This way, the IRS will have your direct deposit information before it gets sent as a check, which could take up to five months. Next reason would be if your refund went to a temporary account set up by a tax preparer. So if you've had someone prepare your taxes for you, sometimes what they'll do is they'll set up a temporary account, they'll get the refund from your tax return, put it into that temporary account, take it out, and then give it to you. Sometimes they take a little off the top too, which is questionable, but that's another story. But if you did your refund through a tax preparer and it went into this temporary account, that's the reason why your stimulus check isn't going to your bank account, it's going to a temporary account that you don't have access to. So if you did, your taxes through a tax preparer, contact him or her and see what the situation is if they set up a temporary account. And this isn't the first time that the IRS screwed this up. So back in 2008, the last time we were getting stimulus checks, they sent out to, they had the same exact mistake for 20 million people. And just like with that time, eventually they got a paper check and not direct deposit. One of the most frustrating parts about this whole process is I feel like the IRS is just constantly making up things, delaying, lying, not really sure what's going on. So with the tools, probably one of the best ones 
if it works, would be to get my payment tool. I recommend constantly checking that. I know it's locking people out for 24 hours, 48 hours at a time, but hopefully they're gonna have that all set up soon and then you could check your payment that way. So Hopefully we get this all sorted out soon and we get the direct deposits before they start sending out the paper checks. They're doing 5 million paper checks per week, 20 weeks, that's gonna be five months until you may potentially get your check. Subscribe to the channel if you want more stimulus check updates. Hit the like button to help YouTube share this video out more and help more people. And don't do it for me, hit the like button for her. And you could click over here to watch more stimulus Bye check update yeah. videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah. yeah, Bella's over there. Say bye. Bye. Bye.